Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Anna Devachi, and I'm here today with the Managing Director of Roha Realty. Welcome. Would Hello. you please introduce yourself? Hi, my name is Harsh Vardhan Tabrewala. I'm the Director of Roha Realty. And uh, can you please tell us a little bit about the background of your company? So we are a very young company. We are a seven-year-old company. And I can proudly say we have delivered over a million square feet of space in India, in Mumbai. And we have currently under over three million square feet of development ongoing in Mumbai. That's wonderful. So you're focusing most on the Mumbai market. How many properties do you have so far? So we have developed over eight projects as of now. And under construction, we have over 10 projects going on. And furthermore, we have done more agreements for five projects, which will start after two to three years. That's wonderful. And what would you say makes uh, Roha Realty special compared to other real estate companies in uh, Mumbai? So, you know, we the timely delivery is something which we adhere to. We have to deliver in a given time. We don't delay our projects. So the idea behind our project is, you know, we are very customer centric. We understand the needs of a customer. And accordingly, we design the project to what a customer needs. So that is something, you know, which helps on doing our sales in the local market. And second thing is a timely delivery. So in real estate, the trust factor is very important. So I think once you deliver the project on time, people start trusting you and with their money. So that's the thing which differentiates us among the other developers. Absolutely, absolutely. And how about the international investors? What would be your message to the international community who are like here in Dubai, who are looking to invest in Mumbai? So I think, you know, India is going to be the next hub of global industrial hub in next coming years. The government is trying to get the economy to $5 trillion. And if the industries are going to come in India, the real estate has to perform well. So I think India is the next star, rising star. And it's going to be the next hub where the investment should be. So I think after RERA, a lot of developers, the unorganized developers have been filtered out. So I think the organized, the, the genuine developers are there in the market now. So it's a safe investment now. And I think India is the next hub where you should put in your money. So that's my message to everyone. So, foreigners can look at the Indian real estate market in a very aggressive way in a, uh, to make money because India is rising and it's going to be the next biggest economy. By 2030, India is poised to overtake Germany as the fourth largest economy in the world. And the kind of opportunity that is coming is huge. So, if you have money, it is a time to look at uh, India aggressively and invest because in real estate market in India there has never been a history of devaluation of land parcels it is always appreciated price always goes up so whatever price you are seeing in Mumbai or Bangalore and other parts of India is going to triple if not double so so uh, that is the kind of opportunity and uh, the developers are now uh, the system has been cleaned out because of the regulatory environment. So your money is safe because your money, if you invest in real estate, goes into an escrow account. Nobody can touch it without the regulators examining it and then releasing it. So funds are released based on the development of the project. So your money is safe, like your money is safe in, in Dubai's real estate market. And that has eliminated a lot of you know, unorganized developers. So only the genuine developers are in the market and Indians and foreigners can invest in bulk properties and benefit from the regulatory uh, environment.